Co and I back with another video. And for today's video, um, you all see by the title, you all know what's going on. I'm going to do something different. Um, I want to do like a little everyday like makeup routine. So we're going to start off with this hair. I really need to redo this ponytail, so let's see this again. You know, I'm going to just jump straight into it. Yo, so I'm trying this thing where I don't do my hair. If you know me, you know I'm a hairstylist, and you know I would do my hair every other day, for real. But I had these braids in for a minute, if you can't tell. Lord Jesus, look at this. Yeah, these braids. Yeah. Oh, baby. But, yeah. And I start off with this hair. I did have, oh, I feel like it's pulling. I hate when it feel like it's pulling, like, a strand in my hair. I don't like this. I really want to take this braid out. I'm about to go ahead, and I want to put some hair oil in my hair. This is not my hair oil. If you know, I actually sell my own hair oil, but today, this is the hair oil we're going to use, so. Yo. Leave me out the comments, leave me out the nonsense Speaking out of context, people need some content Niggas trying to keep up, shit is not a contest Whipping bands concept, heaven sent, God sent At least that's what my mom says, proof is in the progress Money's Yeah, this is what we're gonna do for you. We ain't gonna get too much in depth with this Cause this is for you, they make the routine out of hair routine Yeah, let's stay focused mm. I like to do my hair before I do my makeup. That's just me. I just feel like it's less of a hassle because, well, I think I like it like that. I feel like when you're doing your makeup, I mean, when you're doing your hair after you did your makeup, I feel like you just get makeup everywhere. Like, all on your edges. I just, and then you putting product on your edges. It's just like, no. I would rather have this out the way first and then do my makeup. Comment down below what you'd like to do first. Go look like I'm struggling, don't it? It's just, I'm just not trying to pull my hair. Ooh, that tight like I just did. Yeah, that's too tight. So I do like that and then Felicia, Felicia, I just say, then do like that. Then I just do something simple. Y'all know how to do this. I'll probably fast forward this part. Now we're about to get into these edges, baby. Go ahead and take this comb. Come on. This is like literally saying I do every day. So I guess we can say call this an everyday kind of routine. Cause I just washed my edges. I didn't comb out the extra product that's in there. If y'all see that, that's extra product that was in my hair for me washing my edges yes i be washing my edges when i wash my face or when i'm in the shower because i just feel like if you don't you're just gonna have cake that product in there and like i have makeup on it's just it just be a mess now i'm gonna just get another comb because i need fresh comb and i'm gonna take my baby flat irons Post my progress, but I had a little ball spot right here from wearing glue and like ripping my hair out. This side, not so much because I didn't really, it's like it was starting to, but I caught it. But this side, definitely, like I had a ball spot and you are still growing in. I was like, oh my god, I'm just gonna rip my hair because, like, I just told y'all, I do my hair. Well, I was doing my hair like once a week or twice a week. 
and it was just, I was just ripping it. Like, the hair wouldn't even be old. I just be ripping it out. But that's what we gonna rock this for another month. And we gonna keep it looking fresh. Oh, okay. So, oh, you already know what this is. This is the edge control that I use. Nothing too special for my uh, local beauty supply store. And I'm gonna just take my edge brush. I take about a generous amount, probably, probably like this much. And I just kind of put it over. This is, I feel like this is enough for all my edges. I'm sorry, this is enough for all my edges, so yeah. Y'all gonna see watch when I start showing you. And I'm gonna start you by using my hair oil because that's what grew this side back when it was coming out. It looked really oily on camera, but it's not. I don't know, baby. Why it's looking like that? Good old Nairobi. And spray it. Ooh. I broke my top. And that's what I do. Oh, I got some oil on my Then I take some got to be. And I'm just doing this on my edges. Probably got makeup on it from before, but yeah. Some people probably don't even know you. You don't have to just use this just for wigs. You could use it for your edges. So. Okay. Yes, okay, so I already cleaned my face off. I cleaned my face with the Melis Micellar water, however you want to pronounce it. This is what I use. And I just use this all over my face. And yeah, this removes your makeup and it brightens too. Oops, sorry. Removes makeup, cleanses, and give you that glow. But yeah, this is what I use. So now, what I like to do when I first start doing my makeup is, I really need to, um, I need to wax my eyebrows and I need my little Stash Mac, I mean Max Wax, but I don't have time for that. And I'm gonna just, like I said, I'm treating this as an everyday makeup routine, so I'm not about to act different because I'm filming. <laughs> so if I wasn't uh, getting my stuff waxed and cleaned up, this would already be doing. So yeah, this is very raw and uncut. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and um, clean this. <laughs> Big freaking pimple, but we about to try to cover that up. Oh, I think I got some orange or some some foam, uh, eyeshadow or something. To cover it up. But yeah, I do it like this. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And then I'm gonna go in with this uh, Kiss New York top brow. This is what I use on eyebrows. You can tell. If I hold in there, and I'm just using this Sephora um, eyebrow pencil. I mean, not eyebrow pencil, eyebrow brush. Oh, and this is in the color. This eyebrow is in color ebony. This is the color that I'm using. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and dip this in your hand. You already know the rest. So, have you all just been seeing everything going on? with this topic about transgender women like how do you already feel about it i seen a video and they was on my stage just hilarious real bad like real bad because rumor has it that one of her ex-boyfriends or something cheated on her with a transgender, and I guess ever since then, sis has it out.
for transgender women. Um, if you haven't seen it, go on TikTok, go on Twitter, all your, uh, shoot, all your social media platforms, and yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll see it. But anywho, yeah, they just been talking about how transgender women shouldn't use uh, women's bathroom, transgender men should not use men's restroom, and a lot of people saying like, oh, I have kids, I don't want my kids seeing that, what if they try to like, prey on my child, like, stuff like that, and y'all wanna know what, I feel like, women can be prejudiced, like, cisgen cisgender women can pry on kids as well so it's just like be realistic like the kids kids is not safe nobody's safe in this wicked ass world that we live in like this is a wicked world that we live in so i just feel like for some people i'm not a parent so i already can't say how a parent could or should feel but i just feel like baby girl don't take a it like we in the new generation we in a new world if you feel like there might be a transgender person in the bathroom you and your child you, you shouldn't take your child into public places this is how i feel and then i feel like um mothers and parents feel the same way towards it because they can't always dissect if it's a real woman or if it's a man you get what i'm saying because i feel like when a transgender woman is all the way like she looks like a woman you can't clock her team i feel like they just feel like she's just like a regular woman so they don't think nothing of it so it's just like i don't know if they not like have all their surgeries or don't take all their meds and stuff and they don't look all the way like a transgender woman and they kind of look ooh, excuse me like a man still then i feel like that's when parents or the mom or whatever the case may be um, I feel like that's when they have a problem with it, and that's not cool. But yeah, I don't. You know, comment down below and tell me how you all feel about it. These are the brows before the concealer. Okay, you all And I'm. I need to go makeup shopping really, so I just been making a do to do with what I got. Maybelline fit me. Um concealer I'm trying to think of the color mm. oh walnut 57 walnut this is in walnut and then i'm going to take my elf hydrating concealer and this is in the color medium one medium one and this is how it looks yeah and i'm gonna mix them together like a little bit of the elf and then I'm going to take the Maybelline. I'm going to mix them together. These how the colors look. But yeah. But yeah. Y'all, I just don't understand the big deal about it. Like, I just feel like back in the day, of course, everything was nothing like it is now. But it's just like, girl, please be for real. We is in the 21st century. For real. And I feel like these kids nowadays is learning more at school than they learning at home anyway. So it's just like you can't even shelter, especially when they be on these iPads and stuff. Like they definitely learning way more than you teaching them at home. So it's like you can't really shelter them from this stuff that's going on in the world if you really want to be honest. So I put a little bit more of the dark one than the uh, lighter one. Ooh, then I'm gonna take. This is a brush I got from e.l.f., a little flat brush that I use. I'm gonna mix it up. But yeah. And as far as just hilarious, I don't feel like she said anything wrong. I feel like she's open to her own opinion, just like everybody else is in this world. And they need to leave my sister alone because they've been coming for her for a minute. And I love just. Love. I love her. This how I look when she mix it up. But yes, I'm glad to put that on. But yes, I, I feel like 
everybody entitled to their own opinion and they shouldn't treat another uh, person different about how they identify themselves. But what I don't agree with is um, transgender women trying to downplay us regular women or as they would call it cisgender women. I believe I'm saying that terminology, right? But I don't like that. Like one thing is like once my thing is like <clears throat> you can become whoever you want to be in this world. You can be who you want to be, just say what you want to say. But you all look at us women and you are inspired to be what we are. Or you all look at us and be like, oh, that's what a woman is. In actuality, you won't really understand what it takes to be a woman because truthfully, you wasn't born a woman. So it's just like, to be all fair, it's like, yeah, you can have the image of a, of a woman, but like deep down inside, like, you don't really know how it feels to be a woman. Like, and I don't feel like it's right for transgender women to try to like dog us or like kind of like try to downplay who the, who, who the hell we are you feel me I don't like that not one bit it just like be yourself and leave us out of it y'all don't y'all can't y'all cannot carry uh children y'all cannot bleed no matter how many hormones you may take it's just like it's not giving that that's, that's my only issue with it, like, other than that, hey, to each his own, you, you like it, I love it, be you, I don't get you, you to your fullest extent, that's all that matter, I know this look crazy, but when I blend it, it's not gonna look like that, but yeah, just don't try to down, just don't try to uh, make belittle somebody else to make you feel better, that's what I feel like it gave a lot, like, people, try to downplay other people to make themselves feel better but like no all in all you just kind of playing yourself but okay now i'm gonna take this studio selection it's a foundation brush and i'm just gonna take this and i'm gonna take my mac um uh, setting spray i'm gonna just spray this and blend this out and then it, i feel like they've been trying to cancel just hilarious like for a minute like that's just really crazy what stands up for us and us I mean women, real women, biological women, women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were um when does the delusion what, what, what my sis be doing to y'all cause do I be late to the party do, am I missing am I missing something because I don't know what she be doing to you. I just feel like she just be having her own opinion. And the people be mad about her having her own opinion. But yeah, fill me in if I'm missing something. Because as far as I see it, sis just got her own opinion. And if her baby father or her ex-boyfriend or fiance or whatever case may be, be uh, did cheat on her with a transgender woman, that don't get her the right to um, sit there and um, talk down on transgender women because of her experience with it or her her hurt through it. You feel me? That's my cool little. I, that's something I don't agree with. Not one bit. Cause just because your man stepped out on you and and dealt with somebody like that. That's on you. I mean, that's not on you. That's on him. Don't put that on nobody else. Okay, now I use, uh, it depends. Well, it's, it's hot outside. So I try to use two primers. Um, this first primer I'm going to use is called Smashbox. I'm going to use this. And then the next one I'm going to use is my e.l.f. primer. This is the Portless Face Primer. If you, uh, Ball on a budget, get you one. If you're not a ball on a budget, get you one. It's true. Yeah. So I use both of these. But yeah, go ahead and put that on.
give you that that Instagram filter look. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all will see when I do. Y'all can tell. I feel like when I be taking my pictures, we can tell when what I use on my makeup and what I know because I feel like when I had I like Instagram filter look. This and this powder, and of course, NARS is gonna do you good every time in a good set of spray. So, do you every time? But yeah, look at that primer. Is it giving? So, it's just giving. Yeah, okay. So, next, y'all, and I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't know if I said that. I do what work for me, baby. Okay. And you do what work for you. Or you can do what work for me and see if it works for you. But yeah, I'm gonna go in and I'm using this Pop Duty palette and I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna use the more orange color. Wait, let me see. Cause I thought I used this one right here. It'll help with that. But then again, I have this Latin Beauty palette as well. And I feel like if I use this one and mix it with a little of uh, this one, it'll do. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to start off with this um, Pop Beauty palette, though. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to go out and bust the milk. Let me a bit for tower. Give me another valve. Give me another hour or two. Hour with you. Why you bother me when you're hey, don't know. I should have can be used for anything if you ask me. Okay, I'm gonna put that like right that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I said, but mm, yeah. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Norris foundation, and this is in the color. New uh, Caledonia, Caledonia in deep soup. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, go ahead and put that all over my face. And I love Norris. It's the in one spot when you uh when you do apply it. Ugh. It literally don't. It's the in place y'all gonna see. And then I'm using the same brush, but a different brush. If you do what I'm saying, the same brand and I'm still gonna do the same stuff. I need to I split it with you. I it. got fetish. got problem. Now it's a problem. Oh no. Don't know these features. Don't know these And make sure when you do y'all makeup, make sure you all blending like this straight down your neck. Whatever you use, make sure you blend it out. Okay. I really hate this big freaking purple. I'm just happy it's that red because, baby, if that red was showing, it would be bad. Okay. <clears throat> and then, what I like to do is get a girl some little lights. <laughs> I'm going to take this same um, concealer that I mixed up on my hand and I just go ahead and put that under my eyes. Let me show And then I'm gonna take um, my beauty blender and this is a beauty blender. I think I got this from Walgreens or something a minute ago. And then I take my beauty blender. Hey, I, I, that's probably why I'll be having a lot of um, primer. I mean, not primer, finish spray because I spray all my light brush, most of all my brushes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, before I, I blend out my makeup. So, yeah, we're just gonna take that in.
any like person that's part of the LGBTQRST community and like don't really say you a part of it. Cause I just feel like they just be embarrassing us sometimes. And then it just be looking, I be looking like I cannot be a part of this. I feel like I'm a part of like my own world. Like I don't know. Like I don't want to fit seem like what is doing this a little bit. Sorry y'all. This is really what I do every day though. If I see something, I fix it. But um I don't know. I just feel like being like being a part of the community, I feel like we should hold ourselves up to a certain standard and do certain stuff and some of you all be wildin'. Let me just say that. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Some of you all be wildin'. And I know I'm not the only one that feel like this. I mean, there ain't no way my people doing this. Ain't no way my folks are doing this. Okay. And this is what the face is giving the words y'all yeah. so now what i do because i like kind of like my makeup kind of um what's that called it oxidized a little bit or set but after i do this i either do this after my foundation before that concealer but somewhere along the front I, i'm putting this on okay and this is um who this by oh this is by benefit and it's 24 hour brow setter get you some you better get you some of this get her like that and then you just gonna skirt up on niggas skirt down you acting like me acting like we was more than a some more flesh i said farewell you took it well promise i won't cry what's the milk I, I use this brush. It's not from nowhere special. I don't think. But I'ma just go in with my Morphe palette. And this is the um the artistry palette. And like I said, this is every look, this how y'all know I don't do nothing but everyday looks because I got neutral colors. But I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this color. I don't know if I can see. I don't know what that's called, but yeah, that's the color we're gonna use. They've been finding UFOs. They've been finding. Aliens and the back people backyards. Well, like two people out of me just find stuff in people's yards and stuff. That's crazy. And if you know, I feel like Las Vegas, Nevada has always been known for stuff like that. Like, it's nothing new for real. If you know what I'm saying. And I feel like. They be trying to, like, the aliens and stuff, like, they try to experiment on us. That's probably why that the government be keeping them captive, I feel like. Because it's like, why is y'all keeping these aliens captive? I really want to see them. I want to meet them. Take me with y'all. How much is the rent we all live at? How much is the cost of living we all at? Because... If it's like 2005, 2006 prices, take me with y'all. If it's even cheaper, take me with you. I don't want to be here on planet Earth. Like, take me with you. <laughs> but no, for real though. I, I hate it here. It's too ghetto. It's giving very much, very much ghetto-ness. But yeah, I just put that on. Then I go in with my Fit Me, uh, Y'all, Maybelline Fit Me, y'all need to sponsor me because I've been using Maybelline Fit Me literally since high school, literally since 2013. Like, this is not my all the time makeup, but this is my go to when I'm on a budget or if I'm not trying to make the bank and I need to uh, get on some makeup real quick. Yeah, but anyway, I'm going in with this and I'm going in with my e.l.f. Uh, total face brush. That's what this is. 
Oh, what the heck is on my brush? But yeah, I'm going in with this. That's on it. And y'all can tell that I use this a lot because look at this. The girlies that know, the girlies know. So you just want to get this and put it literally all over your face. But yeah, girl, Vegas been going crazy about these dang on aliens. Like, they not letting it go. People like, is it real? Is it fake? They don't know. They don't know what to believe you are. The government gonna tell us anything. That's one thing. You just gotta be on your P's and Q's. That's what I, that's how I feel. I feel like you can't stop what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. Period. And that's how I feel about it. Mm. It's crazy because in this light, my makeup looking kind of light. But when I look in the mirror, it's looking kind of bright. I mean, I think the camera doing it because it's the same light. I don't know. We're going to see where to the oxidize. <laughs> but um, I, uh, Sephora, uh, no mistake, foundation and concealer stick. And this is in the color 14 and Retake. I don't know if y'all can see that. Can y'all see it? Yeah. I'm gonna just take these. And I'm just gonna go. Oh, let me move this up. So I'm, gonna go. I'm gonna just take this. And I'm gonna, I like just put it oh, like right there. Like I told y'all, I do a work for me. You all do a work for you or y'all can follow me. <laughs> no, for real though. Don't be like, I don't want none of the makeup artists to be like, why she doing it like that? I don't want to hear it. This is what work for me. I like to take this little baby blender. Like I said, wet it up. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> hey. Banana setting powder. Oh, excuse me. And you already know what this is. My baby's at the door. My man, my man, my man. Oh, this is a mess. But, um, yeah, I'm just gonna take just a little wedge brush like this. to bake per se but I let it sit woke up a seconds okay so, no, but for real I already might just go ahead and start blending so that's what I'm about to do and I use oh I'm sorry y'all I use the same brush that I had used to blend it out with to blend this powder in because I don't want nothing too light so I go in with my uh, Fit Me blush in a number 55. And let me show you how she's looking. She is looking towards. Hold on, wait. I don't think that was a good swatch. But yeah, look at her. Very pigmented. She's looking real good. Let me show you. I just wanted to show you all that before I put it on. She looking good. And yeah, then I use my blush brush. And I want to say this is from e.l.f. too. But it's all. Go ahead and pack that on there. I do two packs. And then you just... That's, that's what I want. Mm. 
<laughs> yo, 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 yo. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna go do is I have a mug, a beauty mark, like right under my nose. So I'm gonna just go back with this little eyeliner and define my uh, beauty mark. Mm. Yeah, there she go. Now with the um, eyeliner, I don't put, I put this on, I just gotta be in the mood to do me a win. And right now I'm not in the mood. So, so right now I'm going in, this is from the hair store. And what color is this? This is color. This is a, a NK makeup liner. And this is in the color brown. Like brown. This is how I look if y'all was interested. Right from the beauty supply store. Mm. I like that. I don't know if I can tell. Then I use go back this. If y'all remember when I first my makeup, this is the Sephora, uh, the eyebrow, the eyebrow brush I use, and I just use the best, the leftover. I don't know if y'all can see that. And y'all about to see. It. And this is all that thing. And I the other uh, liner I just used, that's just like a, a god. Um, doing this. I say it is. Okay. So, now, there we go. Um, after that, I'm go, I go in with this lipstick. I don't even know who this by. Who this by? Maybelline. This whole time, I never knew this brand by Maybelline. Y'all, Maybelline really needs to sponsor me. But I'm going with this Maybelline, and this is in the color 920 New Lust. If y'all was wondering, that's the color. Go ahead and, ooh, got lip gloss on her, but y'all matter. I'm gonna go ahead and, go ahead and cut that in like that. It's not a gloss, it just got gloss on here, so yeah. And it already made me a difference because I, I put gloss on anyway. Mm-hmm. So then, put her on right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my. This is from Bath and Body Works. No, I'm lying. Yes, it is from Bath and Body Works. My uh, lip plump and lip gloss from Bath and Body Works. And I go ahead and go in with this. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's such fun in it. <laughs> Keep your little boxes, your lashes come in and just throw them in here. It's so much more easier. So, ooh, dang. Can't even open it. Okay, I don't know. Using hair glue to each zone. Say the comments about the lash glue. I mean, the hair glue. I'm going to do them. Like I said, it'll work for me. I haven't gone blind yet. Everybody be like, oh, you know, boy. Shut up. I'm not, I ain't blind yet. <sighs> oh, got some makeup. Girl, why you got some makeup on it? See, this is what you gotta do. Get you a little of this. Put one, get you a little sponge like that. And wipe your lashes off. Cause girl, why do you got that on me? Like, for real. Get it together. Okay, there you go. 
bada bing um, look this is a lot a little bit but after i put this on look i'll be wiping it off too so yeah you still don't need a lot i still be wiping it still a little bit too much okay and then let me show you all a trick on how to put my lashes on so <clears throat> I do like this. I take my eye like this, pull it to the side, and then uh, once you pull it to the side, you got it on there for real. Hold on, wait. It's right. Hold on. Oh, look. Here you go. Then you gonna go ahead and hold on with that. Ah. Okay, it's on there. And then once you have that on there like that, you're going to go ahead and pinch it close like that. And then, oh, hold on, wait. Okay, so same thing. That's where it look. Look how easy this is. Well, this is easy to me. Bam, it's on there. All you got to do, pull your eye to the side. Oh, I messed that one up. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Right. Oh. I'm gonna wait till this under my eye dry before I wipe it off. Cause I can just pull it off once it uh once it dry. Let's see, let see. Bam! It dry. I'm gonna take this same. This is the same one I had put on the powder with. Sorry, y'all gotta look over here. Like that. And then I'm gonna take the same foundation brush. And just, yeah. Go we'll see here. Mm hmm. This one's done with the makeup. Y'all remember when I was telling y'all I'm going to. Uh, it's gonna be a line, and I'm gonna have to blend it. Oh, it's not that bad today. But I don't like how, if y'all can tell, like the line of demarcation of the makeup. So I'm gonna just take my foundation brush, and I'm gonna just blend that. I just blend that up like this. Take that line right out. I don't know if y'all can tell, but look. I just don't like it to have that line of demarcation. Yeah. And just like that, bam, you can even tell. And then we're just gonna take our setting spray, same setting spray we've been using, and just. Yo, I've been seeing the girls using this. I don't know, like, I ain't never tried this. And if you all feel like this work, let me know. But I don't use that. But yeah, oh, one more last touch. How can I forget? A little foundation. I mean, not foundation. Um, highlight. I've been using this highlight. I usually use um, melanin, melanin, whatever it is. I use that, but I'm about to use this. It's all broke up. But yeah, I just go in and use that like that. And now the tape. Bam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'm gonna see you all the next video. Bye.